Hi, this is Jeanette from the TT for T team, and today I'm going to share with you Padlet. You can think of Padlet as a um, online corkboard where people can share thoughts, ideas, questions, um, and then you can share that out with people or just keep it as a running wall so that students or a staff can um, access it at a later point. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Padlet.com, and once you're there, you have an option to sign up. It's a pretty basic sign up. One thing I like about Padlet is that it does um, let you sign up with your Google Plus, your Google account. So if you have a Google account or you're a Google school, you can just click here uh, to sign up. Otherwise, you can just sign up with an email or a password. I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in with my Google account so that I can go ahead and get started and select the account that um, you're going to use for your Padlet. And then you come to your home page and there are some options here. Um, one of the main ones is clicking on Padlets that you have created. So all of the Padlets that you've created, they do save for you and you can go back and work on them later. Um, you have some settings over here. You can change your account information and some other um, pieces to the puzzle. One thing down at the bottom, uh, you might want to get uh, some of the um, extensions or plugins that are on there. And I did get the Chrome app extension. So up here in the right hand corner of my screen under my name, this allows me to post a Padlet very quickly and easily from a website. It's nice and slick and it'll ask you which Padlet you'd like to post to and you just select the Padlet and it posts a nice image of the website and the link. Uh, for people to access. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new Padlet show you how to do that. And what pops up is just a blank screen and it tells you at the bottom that you double click or drag a file anywhere to post anything. So anytime you're ready to post something you just double click. And I'm going to go over the right hand side here some of the tools. We have the home page button which takes you back to where we were previously. The plus sign creates a new wall and we will do that in a moment. Uh, this is just my profile, the little person. You can go in and look at your um, profile, your account, and you can quick switch between walls here. So I have some other walls that I've created. So I might want to um, come in and click on a different wall very quickly and access it, and you can do that. Um, and you can also log out from here. If you click on My Walls, it takes you back to uh, a list of the walls that you've created. So I'm going to go back into one that we were working on, the blank one. This right here is the universal share button or the export button and we're going to go over that a little bit later. And the information button just gives you some information on the wall. If you need any help, and then the main one that you'll probably use is the gear which is uh, to modify the wall to make it unique and jazz it up a little bit. So let's walk through this over here. <clears throat> Excuse me, you have your basic information here where you title your wall and you can add a description. So today we're going to use this as uh, a question wall, I guess you call it, while you're working through a section. So I'm just going to call this um, section so my students can easily understand it 5.1 um, and it's going to be credit basics. I was a business teacher, so uh, credit basics questions and comments if you'd like to. So uh, my idea is as we go through this unit, this is almost like a back channel and students can post questions or things they're having trouble with or if they found a website or a, an article that's unique to share, uh, they can kind of use this in the background. They can do this at home. It's a great way to let them work on this at home or if they have access to devices, they could use um, their devices. So just a little description. so that the students know um, or anyone else accessing this will know what's going on. Okay, and over here you can select a, an image to be associated with the wall. I'll just click on the world. You don't have to do that and it puts the world right over here. You could also add your own. So if I had a picture of credit cards, um, I, could, I could put that in there. The next one down is the wallpaper. So this is your background right here. Quite a few choices, some that are very um, basic and some that are pretty jazzed up. So we'll just go with something like that today. 
Also, you can add your own at the top here. Create your own wallpaper. Next is the layout, and this is how you'd like your post to come in. Free form. You can click and drag and move all of the um, posts around, kind of categorize them. If you click on the stream, the posts will be placed one underneath each other, kind of like Twitter. And if you do a grid, they're displayed in grid-like format. So we're just going to click on free form for today. If you check with privacy, you have a lot of options here. If you want this to be private, password protected, if you wanted a hidden link where you can't see it on Google, but they're, they're, the link is public, and you can also have it totally public. And then you have your options on if you want people to be able to write on it, just view it, or if they can actually moderate it. So you could have co-moderators, two teachers or two people working on this. So I'm just going to keep it a hidden link and people can write on it. Notifications, if you'd like to get an email sent once a day on the activity on your wall, you can sure do that. This is the address of your wall, which you might want to use later to share with people. If you're sharing through email and you don't have your mail set up on your computer, or if you're sharing it another way. And we will get to the sharing piece in just a little bit. You can also pick a new one down here if you'd like. But to grab this link, you just um, right click on it. And then you can see that you can save the link or copy the, excuse me, copy the link address and place that wherever you'd like to. You can make a copy of your wall with the posts or without the posts, and then you, of course, you can delete it. So I'm going to go back here to my wall, and I'm going to place a comment. You just double and you will get this box that pops up that asks you to write your name and your title. And lots of times with students, post title um, might be some question, or here's an article. Um, so I could post a question here, or even question one for the students, and then I could write something. I could ask them, what do you already know? So I could ask them to tell me what they already know about credit. And you can see, directly in this post, I can add a URL. Um, I could upload a file. Or I could take a photo from the webcam and place that on there. And then if I click off, there is my um, response, my post. And I can click on it and move it wherever I'd want to. If I need to edit the post, I just go back and click on the green pencil and go ahead and go in there. And then if I want to trash the post and start over, um, I can do that also. So there is my post. There's a couple other things I wanted to share with you. So I'm just going to do another post and um, say Mrs. Carlson again. And then I'm going to share an article or a link to an article. Okay, so I have um, an article over here on this other page. I'm going to just grab that link up top here, what parents of soon-to-be college students need to know about credit cards. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on my link button and paste that in there and then just say add. And then students or anyone that's in here can see um, that, excuse me, that this post is there. And so I click on it. And Forbes, you just have to continue to the site. And it pulls in this nice website for the students to be able to read. And I'm just going to go ahead and X out of that right now. That's one way. The other way. If you are on this website and you decide that you like it, you can come up to the very right hand corner here, again under my name, where it says Post to Padlet. And I click on that, and then it will ask me which Padlet would you like to post that to. And I want to post it to Section 5.1 Credit Basics, where I could actually create a new one from here. So I'm going to post here. and then go back here and it looks fairly similar to what you did before um, and it has the article that you can click on. So another thing that you can do is um, once you come in to read all of the posts, you, if you click on the first post it will come up and you can display the posts here and then if you like what you see, so for example let's say I really like this article um, you can share the article 
through Facebook, Twitter, and some other options of social media down here. Or if someone, a student, posted a question that you really liked and you wanted to share, maybe you have a class Facebook page, you could also do it that way. And again, if you'd like to change your layout at any point in time, you can come in here to the setting and go to layout and you can change it so that it goes into a stream. And it posts the most recent um, post first at the top of the page. You can see that the last ones that I did and this is what a grid looks like. It's nice and streamlined for you. So maybe there are some options that you can use with your students um, with Padlet and use it as a back channel or a review or to get thoughts and ideas or maybe discard, start a discussion. So the last thing I'm going to share with you is how to share this or export it. So come over to the right and click on the share export icon and you have a lot of options on how you can share this wall. Obviously your social media outlets. You can also export it as an image or a PDF, even an Excel file or a CSV file. Um, you can email it out. You can go to the RSS feed of this wall also and you can print it. Also, let's say you have a Weebly or WordPress down here or another website you'd like to embed this actually right into your blog or your website, you just grab this code right here and take that to uh, your Weebly or other site and, and post it right there on your class website for students and even parents to see. And then WordPress. And down at the bottom, I love that they have a QR code for this wall. So you could also post these around the room if you have students that have devices and they could access the wall very quickly by just scanning this with a QR code reader. So that is Padlet, and hopefully you can find some useful options for it. Thanks for watching.